and welcome back! Hey look, it's Poetry Friday again! After a little reprieve for summer, etc., we're back with some poetry on your Friday during lunch. And so, the poem for today is The Fairies by William Allingham. And uh, this poem is a pretty fantastic look at uh, the mischievous and somewhat malicious fairy tale culture. Uh, if you've ever studied fairy tales, fairies can be a little creepy sometimes. And this is a good creepy poem about fairies. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a-hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. Down along the rocky shore, some make their home. They live on crispy pancakes of yellow tide foam. Some in the reeds of black mountain lake, with frogs for their watchdogs all night awake. High on the hilltop, the old king sits. He is now so old and gray, he's nigh lost his wits. With a bridge of white mist, Columkill he crosses, on his stately journeys from Sleeve League to Rosses, or going up with music on cold starry nights to sup with the queen of the gay northern lights. They stole little Bridget for seven years long, when she came down again, her friends were all gone. They took her lightly back, between the night and morrow. They thought that she was fast asleep, but she was dead with sorrow. They have kept her ever since, deep within the lake, on a bed of flag leaves, watching till she wake. Up the craggy hillside, through the mosses bare, they have planted thorn trees for pleasure here and there. Is any man so daring as dig them up in spite? He shall find their sharpest thorns in his bed at night. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a-hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. The poem dabbles in some of the fairy tale culture of the stolen child and with Bridget and with some of the mischief that fairies play on uh, country people. You should look more into the traditional fairy tales and, uh, and look, for example, at uh, Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream with Puck, the mischievous fairy. There's a lot of great culture in that. It's maybe a bit of a reminder that fairy tales aren't always so pleasant and pretty as we paint them to be in like Disney movies. In fact, if you'd like to see one of my renditions of one of the creepiest fairy tales out there, click right here and you can hear more about the juniper tree. That's all for today, because I've got a busy lunch. But I hope you have a lovely day, keep enjoying the poetry, and I will see you next week when we pick back up. Look, it's like something normal. It's a granola bar. Make sure you click to watch, subscribe, see you next time.